Now, I want to give you everything from the horse's mouth, or shall I say from the pig's mouth. First, we're going to play the most recent video by Livingston. And you might wonder, why am I calling him Livingston? Well, it turns out he was born in Jamaica to two lovely parents, and they named him Livingston Spencer Allen, pussy boy. And he grew up as a schoolboy. He grew up in Jamaica up until the seventh grade, moved to the United States of America and Jersey. And he was among the African-Americans who rebuked him. And he made up this story on Vlad TV and said that, you know, I was a Jamaican immigrant, so people used to call me the weird Jamaican kid. No, little buddy, they didn't call you the weird Jamaican kid because you were an immigrant. They called you the weird Jamaican kid because you was a weird ass named Livingston. And there's one thing I particularly want to focus on today. Number one, you are the guy who came at fresh Walter Weeks because he was dealing with a young lady and she was a sugar baby, which would mean that he was tricking. But it turns out, according to our research labs here at Sasson Research Labs, we found out that you've been tricking too. And you've been tricking even worse on complete slores. When you hear him talk about anybody, all he ever talks about is clout. Because that's all he can measure up on. Because he's never had anything before that. When you track his whole background, you go back and back and back and back. And you find he was a loser in Jamaica. When he got out of Jamaica, got to America, he's still a goddamn loser. Totally rejected and rebuked. In fact, in his Vlad TV interview, he said, no one accepted me in high school. What kind of goddamn comment is that? That's tremendously embarrassing, especially for somebody who's calling other people a dweeb. They didn't accept me in high school. My boy, that would be the whole definition of a dweeb. I want you guys to study this video. This is in the aftermath of me roasting him. Then I'm about to switch back, rewind, and play you the video that he made before I said anything to him. And notice how lit he was. Notice he was big act in that one. Notice how he was saying, oh, I want all the smoke. Notice how he said, oh, this encourages me. I need motivation to make my live streams. I like when people smoke. He even stayed I'm the one that keeps going. He even gave some examples. But all of a sudden, he don't want to keep going. I wonder why. I wonder why. Everything you say is hypocritical. Said you don't need anybody because you get billions of views because you big act. When in reality, you need everybody because you do not make content. You are a content critiquer. Huh? You're a critic, boy which means all you can do is to respond to those who have talent. You don't make the rap music, you make the critique of the rap music. Boy, you don't make celebrity news, you gossip about celebrity news. Boy, huh? Your mama should have told you better than fuck with me. Should have told you. He's a real rude boy. Living stun. Sit down. He's a real rude boy, pussy boy. You embarrass me, eh? You hear me? I'd rather be in the game than on the bleachers talking about the game, writing about the game. That's all you do. Because I want to congratulate you on your pretend game. Your pretend game is tremendous, you see, because you try to portray confidence, even arrogance. But that's not who you are. Because in your Vlad TV interview, you told us that they didn't accept you in high school, which meant you were a motherfucking loser. How you gonna be a dumb nerd, number one? That's the thing that perplexed me. How you go to university, your ass ain't even got a degree. Somebody asked this boy, he ain't even graduate. Yeah, big facts. Notice he always says, I studied this, but never says I got a degree in it. Huh? And you should really, as I said in the last stream, you should hate God. Because look at the way he made you. Might have been the devil made him like that. Huh? See, when God made you, he made you with inferior genetics so that when you eat and engage in gluttony, the fat just goes straight to your fattest chipmunk face. God, when he made you, instead of making you tall and strong, he made you short and weak and of modest intelligence. Still got a gap in the middle of your teeth talking about you's a millionaire. Well, why don't you cut a motherfucking check to get some veneers, my boy? Get them goddamn teeth pulled together. Or why don't you invest in a goddamn personal trainer and a gym membership? Little fat face fucker. You's a schoolboy and you always been a schoolboy. Said you didn't even get to go outside. Your mama was a teacher. Your daddy was a principal. I ain't no Vince Mensa. I'd have slapped your ass on TV. Yeah, in real life.
Somebody says, oh, he, he cooked in this video. Yeah. What do you say? Now notice that he just said one of his viewers said that I cooked in my video. Okay, I, I, I want. I ain't gonna watch it. You tell me what he said. You tell me what he said. This stuttering lion. He could be. He could be like how. You know a nigga lying when a nigga said. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. You tell me what he said. What this is really about is the real and the fake. What this is really about is Fifty Cent taking out Ja Rule. What this is really about is him thinking he Debo and me pulling up like Craig and him getting knocked the fuck out. That's what this is really about. It's really about integrity and dishonesty. Me being the realest one you didn't seen on the internet and him hanging out with Takashi Snitch Nine to show you what he's really about. That's what this is about. And we gonna get deeper. He right, we stay on. Woo! <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, uh, for the record, this the homie right here that I grew up with from my neighborhood. And you can read my book, The Black Box, which you can get on Amazon of my real life. And this man's name is in the book, his full legal name. Roderick Warren writes, we stayed outside in high school, pulling them all across L.A. County and then some. Get this dude. Yeah, and that's factual. That's factual. While this little nerd ass Livingston Allen was getting good grades and following rules. You see the big homie tell you some facts about the big homie. My grades were so fucked up. My high school counselor told her I told me I couldn't do nothing with it. I had to test out of high school. I took an examination, which gave me a high school proficiency, which is kind of like a GED. Uh, DJ Academics, you're not of my caliber, little buddy. And here's the worst reason you should hate God, DJ Academics. You see, because you're fat and short, and you're of modest intelligence. You worked hard all your life in school and tried to progress, and you end up going to Rutgers, which is an I school. I was grinding in high school, trying to smash every bad bitch at my school and every nearby private school, you dig? Tested out of high school because I was grimy, did two years of community college in one year, entered the University of California, Berkeley, the number one public school in the world, entered as a junior, and I was only 18, which means I leapfrogged your ass. While you were acting like a fucking nerd in high school, I was thugging and still leapfrogged your dumb ass while still being tall and good looking and having all the natural endowments that one would want in the way of genetics. God did you dirty, gave me every advantage over you. You are my inferior boy. Yeah. And, and the way I'm talking, this cocky talk right here, that's how I really am. You talk cocky as a motherfucking invention. You started talking cocky when you got money and clout. That's not really who you are. People like you get broke down quick when that pressure's on. You weak, boy. He said, I will tell you why I didn't watch it. Because I violate niggas. You've, can somebody tell me who'd he, vi he violate me? I've been waiting to get violated. Violate me. That's number one. Then number two, he repeated again. He said the people in his atmosphere, which first off, poor diction. How are you going to be a dumb nerd? That's the worst thing to me. And here's my two issues with him. If you're going to be ugly, at least don't be fat. Ugly, that's what your mama did to you. You heard me? Your mama was ugly, you ugly. That's kind of how it go. Genetics. But you ain't got to be fat. That's a decision. And that's what kind of annoys me about people like him. He has a low quality, a, a, a low standard for himself. So why, why would anybody follow him? That's why I'm here to chop these heads off and then put a spear through his head and put it in my front yard. He says, I'm a fat lame with money. I am fat and I have a lot. Of I money. never said he had a lot of money. I never said that. He is fat. Though. This. So he's saying what everybody said in my comments. Okay. That's why he don't want to play it. Look at him. Look at him just reading the comments. Usman pack. That nigga Usman got his ass beat by 30 minutes. No. Oh, check this out. This is funny as hell. Listen. Somebody said at least watch 30 minutes. No. Uh, uh. Why is he like, mad? Why is he mad? They they told him, like, hey, man, just, just watch 30 minutes of it. He over here like, no. He mad as shit. Rulu talks about him for 30 minutes. No. I shit on niggas and let them get to the status I'm at before I could give them the respect. I shit on niggas. They should be aspire to get to me. Now, remember he said that. I want you guys to remember that he said that. He said he issues on N-I-G-G-A's. And by the way, Livingston, can you stop saying the N-word? That's our shit. African-Americans. I'm cleaning up all the cultures right now. Everybody needs to knock that shit off. We don't even need to say it. So I'm going to tell your Jamaican ass to knock it off, number one. That's rap shit. That's hip-hop shit. That's African-American shit. Yeah, I said it. Now, look, check this out. Um, remember that he just said 
he can't say anything about me until I got $5 million. And he can't say anything about me until I'm on his level. Remember, keep remembering the things he said. Then I'm going to play back the video he made before I spoke. And you could see that he got terrified and changed up his whole shit. Okay. I shit on niggas. They should aspire to get to me. And once we get, you get nah, to where you I'm at. You smell like you shit it on yourself, you fat, stinking nigga. But y'all can tell me what he said because I'll quickly address it. Waste 30 minutes of your life. No, I won't. Oh, he said, I wear a hat because of alopecia spots. No, my head is just big. That's not no motherfucker you have alopecia you have bald spots that's why if you look at a picture of dj academics every single photo he is wearing a hat because he has alopecia he has bald spots he has hair issues and what's more because he has so many issues with the hair on his head it's caused him to focus on the hair on his face now when you got a face that fucking fat your beard ain't gonna feel all the way in and so his beard only grew naturally down here. And he went and got that Floyd Mayweather surgery to fill in the rest of the beard. Shit still ain't filled in, but shout out to him for trying to upgrade his shit. You think he'd upgrade himself by getting on a motherfucking treadmill?